Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Ani here from The Learning Class. Today's video is on how to create an attractive pop-up. A pop-up is uh, something like this, which you see on your screen right now. Uh, this is a great way of uh, offering some sort of a discount, offering some sort of uh, sale, uh, offering a discount code, also used for collecting email addresses. So you will see most of the e-commerce stores, they have something like this. So uh, without further ado, let's quickly get into it. And by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create a nice little pop-up which looks something like this. Uh, but before we do, uh, we'll really appreciate uh, a like or a comment or a subscribe because uh, we are a brand new channel as you probably know and uh, it really helps and supports us. And you know, guys, it's free. So click that subscribe button, click that like button. Okay, so uh, without further uh, delay, let's get into uh, the store. So right now, I'm just going to go to my Shopify store. This is my Shopify store. Uh, this is the backend. And the app that I'm going to use to create the pop-up, it's called Automicely. But just feel free to browse the Shopify app. So there's literally hundreds of apps that will help you uh, to create a pop-up and they all pretty much the same and all of them are free you know most of them are free so this is a free app uh, so yeah feel free to use automizely so go to your app section and then go to your app store so once you click your app store you're gonna come here we're gonna search for the app so just type in automizely automizely email and then you will see this one so just click that and then just click on add the app as you can see it says app is already installed because I've already installed it so just install it uh, and then once you have installed the app you're gonna go into the app so just click here give it a couple of seconds just to open up cool so now that it's opened up you can see dashboard some you know a, a dashboard which looks something like this uh, on the left hand side they have quite a few things now this is a great little app uh, just keep in mind I am not affiliated to them or anything like that I just like uh, automatically so I just use that but you know you can use any other app uh, if you wish they have like pop-ups and forms they have uh, if you click pop-ups and forms you get different types of uh, pop-ups they have email marketing as well so you can you know in email marketing you have newsletters welcome emails so quite a few uh, promotions to choose from then you you can make coupons if you like you can make conversion tools so if you click on conversion tools you can have a little bar. I'm just gonna. You can have social proof, sales boost. Uh, you know, you can have ten best selling products. Quite a few options available just in one app. So it's pretty cool, I think. Uh, okay. Anyways, for this tutorial, we're gonna use pop-ups and forms, right? So just click pop-ups and forms. And once you click that, you're going to see something like this. Okay. Uh, we're going to click on uh, just add new form. So once you click that, again, they, they give you a lot of options and are using the pop-up to capture subscribers, exit intent, cart recovery, upsell, referral. So I'm just going to click on, just leave it on all, click on pop-ups right and now if you scroll down you will see they have pre-made templates that's pretty good you know quite a few options available 
and under each uh, pop up you can see what you know what's uh, it you know what what it is used for so this is like a recovery cart recovery this is like an upsell uh, uh that's a holiday season so yeah i think you know if you're happy with the pre-made template just uh, stick to that pretty good a uh, lot of options so i kind of like this the, the independent sale uh option so just gonna click on this just gonna select this and just gonna click on create okay so once you create you're gonna come to this step and this is where on the left hand side you'll be able to customize it so let's quickly see how we can customize this little pop-up so the first option is pop-up name so just to independence there that's fine your customers will not be able to see this this is just for your reference only uh pop-up coupon so are you offering a coupon uh i'm just gonna select no coupon and the reason is i already have made a discount if you have checked my previous video uh, i had mentioned you know i in the video was about how to create a discount and i had also mentioned in the video that i'll be creating this video on how to display or how to have a pop-up right so i already have a discount created in shopify and it's called holiday uh, the discount is very simple 20% on all products okay so I'm just going to select no coupon but if you want to offer a coupon then you can select this and if you select this then you can actually create a new coupon in automatically right uh, for this tutorial we just gonna select no coupon so I'm just gonna select no coupon because we already have a coupon okay uh, go down then you have a sticky tab so here you have the option where you know where do you you know when do you want the sticky tab to appear you know do you want it uh, before the pop-up or after the pop-up so I'm just gonna select it select just leave it as after the pop-up disappears uh, where do you want the sticky tab to be displayed so the sticky tab is something like this one uh, le left hand side you can choose the right hand side so you can see it's moved to the right hand side so whichever option is good for you let's just keep it for left hand side right now and then you can also have choose where do you want it to be displayed on the mobile so i'm just going to leave that to the bottom but you can uh, select what you like top so it's going to go on the top okay or you can completely hide the sticky tab okay moving on uh, you have a option of countdown I kind of like the countdown because in countdown uh, you kind of uh, give a sense of uh, urgency right so I'm just gonna click on enabled so here you see there's a little watch a timer that got displayed now you can choose uh, you can play around with this you know you, you can choose the date you can choose the time as well okay you can choose your zone you know whichever zone you are in <clears throat> so I'm just gonna leave it you know this way but as I said you can customize it depending you know whether the timer you want it just for a few hours or you want it for a few days and then you have the option of uh, whether you want the timing to be ongoing or it's just for a fixed time so you can select that so fixed time is you know you can have a start time or an end time so right now i'm just gonna click ongoing okay okay then then is the trigger so when do you want this little pop-up to show up so here it is show on a timer so show on a timer means once the customer comes on your website do you want this pop-up to come after five seconds do you want it to come immediately 
So you've got a few options. I'm just going to select immediately just for this tutorial. Uh, you also have the option to select exiting the page. So which basically means that when the customer is exiting your website, is that the time you want them to offer a discount? You know, you want to say, hey, don't leave. Here is a 20% discount code for you. Okay. So right now I'm just going to select show on timer immediately. And then you have the next option of display frequency. So is it every time someone visits? Is it uh, once per day, once per week? So I'm just going to select every time somebody comes on my website. I want them to see this little pop-up. Uh, audience targeting. So I'm just going to select all visitors. And then the good thing is automatically offers you remove this little uh, uh, you know, little watermark powered by a lot of the apps I've seen, they charge you. You have to kind of uh, go on their payment plan to be able to remove this uh, watermark. But here it's on the free plan and they offer you. So it's pretty good. So just make sure you click that. Okay, uh, so this is all good. The pop up settings. Now we go to text. Okay, so in text, uh, now you can see this one is pre-configured for an email address, which means that uh, when the customer puts their email address uh, in here, and then once they click get them, they are offered the coupon code. But for I don't want to have an email address right now, so I'm just going to uncheck this. But you can see, you can even capture customer's first name, date of birth, and email address, right? But for this one, I'm just not going to uncheck everything. So I don't, I'm not capturing the email address because this pop-up is just to show that, hey, we are having a 20% off discount. This is the discount code. Get it now, okay? Uh, primary action, secondary action. So there's no action I needed. So I'm just going to delete it. So it's gone. Secondary action, delete, gone. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, you can customize the text for your sticky tabs. I'm just going to mention here 20% instead of the 10. Just select that and it's 20%. So you can see it's become 20%. Okay, and uh, I think uh, that's pretty much uh, looks pretty good, I think. Okay, so this is the text so Independence Day sell, and here I'm gonna write my code. So use code use code holiday H okay use code holiday uh And here I'm going to write 20% off. Okay, I think uh, I'm really happy with this. Independence Day sale, 20% off. Use code HOLIDAY. Okay, so looks okay. Looks nice. Okay, let's go to style. So this is where you can now do some designing part. So the first the first bit is the logo, right? So here you can upload your store's logo. Yeah, uh, there is some limitation. So 2 MB and you know, you can have a JPEG or a GIF or a PNG file. Display size is standard. Let's make it large. So this is, this is looking good. It's a large one. You can align it. I'm going to keep a few align left. 
that's how it's going to look i'm going to keep it center you can change the font as well so you can select the font whatever you prefer let's just keep it abro whatever it is now image alignment so this is the image here yeah but you can have your own image as well if you want to put your store image you can just click remove and just put uh, your own store image that you want to display i'm going to leave it uh, the way it is because i kind of like it uh, pop-up background so right now is blue again this can be you can select the hex code the color code and you can change the color yeah, so this is this is like a design uh, customization. So changing the color of this timer, changing the color of your text, changing the color of your background, all of those things can be done from here. Right now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm pretty happy. So just going to do a quick check again. Okay, I'm going to check my discount as well. Go going to go back to my Shopify store this one so the discount code is holiday so that's pretty good okay it's active so i think we are ready to publish so i'm going to publish this one last check before we publish to appear on the site yes publish please so now it's published okay now let's do a quick check if this is really working um going to unpublish the previous one which i had made before okay so i've got this one now this particular pop-up should come immediately uh within the first few seconds so let's just go back to the website let me just Is this diagram? Okay, so now we're in the website and the pop up should come uh, pretty much now. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Independence Day sale 20% off. Use code holiday. And uh, you got a little bit of a timer which kind of creates the urgency. It's got a nice little image. And your customers can use this code and get the discount so that's a great way of creating a nice little attractive pop-up on your website free simple easy and extremely effective so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we'll really appreciate a thumbs up a subscribe a like a share uh, yeah we are pretty new so any kind of help much appreciated Thank you guys very much and uh, hope to see you guys soon in the next video. Take care and goodbye.